Hello you guys! Today I'm going to be doing Draculaura nail art from Monster High. I really wanted to do something pink Halloween and this was kind of like the first thing I found on Pinterest and I thought it was cute so let's do it. I am going to be doing the acrylic pop-off method. I'm using these double XL square no secret tips from Nails by Dove Shop. For this pop-off method I'm just using cuticle oil and a no wipe shiny top coat. Any cuticle oil that you have is totally fine. I'm using the money for nails cuticle oil and I'm kind of just slobbing that all over my nails and then i'm gonna rub it in i like to rub it in because i feel like it kind of absorbs it into the nail a little bit so that way when i'm applying the top coat it doesn't separate as bad we still get a little bit of separation with this so i am gonna do two coats you can also totally cure these in the light as you go like finger by finger and that will help prevent a little bit of that separation as well after my second layer of top coat i'm gonna follow that up with the mia secret nail glue and glue on my tips as i usually would if you have any issues with your nail glue or your tip sticking to that top coat, you can totally lightly buff the top coat and that will help it to stick a little bit better. I personally don't have any issues with that using the Mia Secret glue, but I've heard of other people having that issue, so just a heads up on that one. Now I'm going ahead and sizing all my tips and then I'm going to go in with some acrylic. I was really excited to try these colors. I honestly just ordered these samples and I am in love with the pink glitter. These two pinks are actually what made me decide to do Draculaura today because I really wanted to use them and I also wanted it to be Halloween. Just look how pretty these swatches are you guys. I feel like the lighting does not even do them justice. That kind of like golden shimmer in the darker pink is like magical i'm obsessed with that jumping straight into the acrylic process i decided to do an ombre on the pointer and the pinky and then i also decided to do a full nail of this darker or kind of like fuchsia glitter on the middle and then the ring finger i don't know would you call this a fuchsia i feel like it's a fuchsia right kind of it's like a barbie pink i don't know Either way, I'm obsessed with it. Just look how nice it lays too. I went ahead and sped all of this up, but I decided to go in with that kind of like shimmery pearlescent light pink and then ombre that into this other pink. Honestly, I was like a little skeptical on ombreing this pearlescent pink because I just didn't know if it would blend that well, but surprisingly it blended amazing. Look at that. Finishing off this nail with the cuticle bead and then blending that into the rest of my ombre and then we're going to move on to the next nail. Like I said, I decided to keep this middle nail just straight up that pink glitter because it is just gorgeous and this is the nail we're going to paint a character on. So I kind of like don't want to put in all that extra work just to cover it up to be honest. For being a glitter acrylic, this was actually pretty buttery. I was able to drag that bead all the way down to the tip of the nail like you're seeing here. Now I'm just going to zoom through the acrylic process on the last few nails. That way I can kind of start with the filing and then jump into the character art my goodness if only i could actually do nails that fast i swear i would be a millionaire now we're gonna jump into the filing you guys and the number one thing is that when i am laying my acrylic especially with the pop-off method i want to make sure that i don't have to do very much filing i mean this just goes for any time to be honest like i've gotten my application to a point where i don't have to do that much like filing or hand filing and that's honestly the goal in my opinion like when i'm teaching others i don't want them to be laying this thick bulky crazy acrylic because you are gonna kill your wrist in the long run trying to file that down and with the pop-off method you don't want to be that rough with the nails because they can pop off you know because they're intended to do so so you want to be a little bit careful if you struggle with your acrylic application or just the process of acrylic at all, any step of the process, I do have online training courses. I will link them in the description if you want to go ahead and check those out. Now I am just using my e-file to smooth over the top and I barely have to file this. My application was pretty smooth to begin with and now we are going to jump into the nail art. I dusted off my hands and then used this Mia Secret hand sanitizer to kind of clean the nails mixing these two colors from nails by dev shop and then i'm just going to use those for the skin tone of draculaura i kind of like sped all this up but i'm going to put the image up here on the screen so that way you guys can totally screenshot it and then follow along if you'd like to do so after i finished filling in where her face is going to be i decided to map out all of her facial features using the black shading gel all the products i'm using i will link in the description below i like to map out the face before going ahead and color blocking now i'm going to go ahead 
ahead and fill in the eyes with white out gel polish this is the white gel polish and then fill in the hair using this color called call me later this is from the y2k supper splash collection and it's a very like vibrant pink i just felt like it was perfect for the hair color and it just went with the glitter really well then I filled in the eyes with this pastel purple. These are going to be like the irises. And then I went back in again with Call Me Later to fill in the lips. I also used that same color for like her little cut crease moment she has going on right here. How cute is that? Next, we're going to go ahead and start with the stripes on her hair. And this is pretty self-explanatory. I just followed along with the picture and where they were with lights out gel polish and traced that along and then filled them all in. So I'm going to zoom through this part. Don't forget to add the same striping to the bottom half of her hair. And then I'm going to go in with her pupils. You could totally use a dotting tool for this, but I just feel more comfortable using my brush. And then I'm using the color Sinister, which is actually from last year's Halloween collection and using that for her eyebrows. And then I'm also going to outline her hair with that later on but for now I'm going to outline her facial features using the baddest black gel liner this is my go-to gel liner I'm absolutely obsessed with it the consistency is perfect I also completely failed to mention that I've been using the hella cute liner brush this entire time Dev has a plethora of brushes that you can choose from but this is just the OG it's one of my favorites so I kind of like stick to what I know at this point you can totally use whatever brush you are comfortable with the last thing I did was add highlight to her eyes and then I also highlighted her hair off camera that is completely optional and now i'm gonna top coat her and then pop that in the light i like to top coat my nails as i go i'm just weird like that i'm hyper paranoid that i'm gonna like mess it up so before i move on to the next we're gonna top coat to add a little more glam to the set i'm using the bling gel mine looks disgusting don't mind that and then i decided to go in with these little spiders i was thinking about the skeleton ham but the spider just looked so cute with her so i added the bling gel to my ring finger and then plopped that little spidey guy right on top of the wet bling gel and then pop her in the light i also added some of those other like plain crystals on the other nails just for a little bit more pizzazz i did that off camera my apologies but look how cute they turned out you guys i am actually so obsessed with these i think they're adorable and i'm so glad i decided to do these like pink halloween glam if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this please let me know in the comments i had so much fun making this one and until next time friends bye